Hey everybody, Will here, and welcome to this new video series called What Happened. We're going to be looking at what happened to all of these hot topics in education. Things like the makerspace or 3D printing, uh, STEM labs, uh, edutainment, right? All of that fun stuff that we were promised was going to revolutionize education in the last 10 years, and well, it's all fizzled out, to be honest. Anyways, let's figure out what happened to it. And if you do find today's video insightful or enjoyable, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can always get the latest content from EduCenter. So today we're going to be looking at the makerspace. What happened to the makerspace? It was this promised utopian of a classroom where students could come in with all of the blank materials and create whatever they wanted using popsicle sticks or cardboard, crayons, markers, Arduinos, 3D printing, wood, whatever you want. Well, it didn't work out, unfortunately. So what happened to it? It's almost like you don't hear anyone talking about putting a makerspace in education. Well, I think we have to go back to what it takes to really start a makerspace. When you put in a makerspace, you're first dedicating an entire room to this concept. So that's space being taken away, space that could be used to create another classroom to increase your class sizes, and also maybe remove some kids from overpacked classrooms into another area with a new teacher. Well, the other thing with the makerspace too we have to examine is how much does it actually cost? When you're talking about putting in all of the new equipment, buying all of the consumables the first time, you're talking about a price range anywhere from like $2,000 to $5,000. That includes uh, all of your cardboard, all of your popsicle sticks, all of the hot glue, all of the hot glue guns, regular glue, markers, basic tools, chisels, scissors, saws, 3D printers, maybe a laser cutter if you had the funds. And well, you put that all in a room, and then you're expected teachers to come and use it. Now the Makerspace 2 uh, costs like about $1,000 a year to maintain. That's a lot of money that you now have to come up with in budget. It just won't work. So now you've lost space, you've spent a lot of money, and you have a recurring expense for it, and you're not really getting the time usage out of there. Now there are ways to overcome that in the Makerspace if you have a dedicated budget or you received a nice donation for it uh, or you had uh, a volunteer come in or you hired a person to come in and run that. Those were all great things that could help make it work but in the end it was too much of a burden and it's quite easier to keep your students in your classroom and trying to have them bring in the materials they need to create. If you found this video useful, insightful, or if you think I missed anything, I know it's pretty short here, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can always get the latest content from EduCenter. In our next video, we're going to be looking at the promised land of 3D printing and why that hasn't taken off like we were promised. 